First news with Kevin Miller, joined by Senator Tom Cotton. Good morning, sir. How you doing? Morning, sir? Kevin. But where's the fun and no pain, no sweat, no effort? <laughs> well, uh, you know what? I don't mind uh, working up a sweat. I, I biked on Sunday, did uh, almost 20 miles. So, wow. you know, as long as you take breaks and stay hydrated, it's... I like that. I like that. But I'm crazy that way. So. <laughs> I prefer I prefer running. It's a little bit less gear, but yeah, maybe one of these it, days my knees will break down so badly I'll join you on the bike. You know, I run uh, sometimes, too. This is probably more than you want to know, but usually in the fall, it's just too darn hot right now. My head feels like it's going to catch on fire. So usually the fall, the winter, I run some, but it's more yeah. of a jog for me. But you're you're quite the athlete, actually. Well, <laughs> and, I wouldn't uh, go that far. Maybe by Senate standards, I am. <laughs> well, I, but you won something. there. I meant to ask you about this about a month or so ago, and, and it, we got – I mean, there's been so much going on and there'll be more going on today, but what would you want to race? There's yeah, so we have a Capitol Hill Challenge. It's just a short three-mile race every May, uh, and it's uh, to benefit uh, veterans who have lost their eyesight or had their eyesight impaired uh, and help obtain uh, seeing eye dogs for them. So I was, uh, once again, the fastest man in the Senate. Again, that is an extremely low bar to clear. It's like being the, the youngest senator, um, but uh, <laughs> always have fun participating and I was glad to see my office was able to win again, too, in the team competition. Yeah, it's like I'm the uh, fastest person on air here at Disney, you know, 2.9 <laughs> KRN. And, uh, you know, if you've ever seen Doc Washburn, you know that, uh, well, the athletic ability is not much on our staff. So <laughs> what do you do? Senator Tom Cotton, we've got to talk about health care, and it looks like a vote of some sort, uh, some kind of movement on this. Do we even know what we're voting on? Largely, Kevin, uh, we do. I mean, we've talked about this now for a long time, uh, in some ways for seven years. And the vote that we expect to have later today is not on, on the final product, which will be open for all comers to amend as much as they want. This, this vote today is simply a procedural vote, what they call the motion to proceed, to actually take up the House bill. Um, but the, the budgetary process under which we will debate and vote on this bill is by far the most open process we have in the Senate. Uh, there is no way to block an amendment. Uh, every senator gets to offer an unlimited number of amendments, and there's no time limit on the debate, which means that we will keep going until the cows come home or 100 senators get exhausted. Um, so we can't say what the final product will be, Kevin, because we don't know what amendments will be introduced. We don't know what amendments will pass. But we do know that if we don't start the debate, we can't try to uh, fix the problems in our health care system. Kevin Miller, along with Senator Tom Cotton on News Radio 102.9 KARN. Uh, Senator, you worked on the original effort uh, with uh, other senators behind closed doors. Uh, there were some people that were very critical of that. They said that it should have had more engagement. Uh, the polls suggest that the American public wanted that, too. Now we're back to this again. And I ask you one more time, seven and a half years of complaints about health care. We still don't have a game plan here. You've told me in the past there have been any number of game plans, but... Why, why? I feel like this is my son telling me, you know what, I've got to report to. When did you know about it? Oh, a month ago, <laughs> and it's due tomorrow. Okay, well, okay, why is there not anything that's been resolved on this? Well, Kevin, let, let me take those in sequence. Um, so I was part of a working group. Um, ended up being very big and kind of shifting over time with the senators who were participating in it. It was open to all comers. I, I found um, that for me and for Arkansas, that was actually – uh, a better way to get to uh, a proposed bill, and that's because neither I nor John Bozeman sit on the two committees that would be drafting the bill. Um, that's the Senate Finance Committee and the Senate Health, Education, Labor, and Pension Committee. So in that regard, I had uh, more involvement, and Arkansas had uh, a stronger voice in the process. Uh, now, the whatever you think of the process, though, um, you know, we've largely gone to the grocery store, we've gotten the ingredients, the menu is almost served. There is a draft bill out there. It's been out for a couple weeks now. It's nothing compared to Obamacare. Obamacare was about 2,700 pages. This bill is, uh, in last iteration, I think about 160 pages. So it's something that Arkansans and all Americans have had a chance to study. Again, we don't know what the final bill is going to look like because it's the most open amendment process we have, and therefore it's not possible to say if I'm going to vote yes or, or vote no on it, but I do think that we should start debate to get into that amendment process. We'll see how it all shakes down, and I'm sure we'll talk about it again. Senator Tom Cotton on News Radio 102.9 KARN. I want to touch on this. It's something called the Taiwan Security Act. What's it about? The Taiwan Security Act is a way to uh, fulfill our commitments to the island of Taiwan in the Taiwan Relations Act. In 1979, we guaranteed that island security. Taiwan is what MacArthur referred to as the unsinkable aircraft carrier. It's right off the coast 
of uh, China, and it's between our treaty allies, Japan and the Philippines. It's one of our largest trading partners. And China has increasingly engaged in a campaign of international isolation and aggression towards Taiwan. So our legislation would do things like require deeper military-to-military cooperation, make it easier for us to provide Taiwan for the critical arms packages they need to maintain uh, their deterrent against mainland China. Uh, and I've been able to include some of those provisions in the annual defense bill that we should be voting on later this week or next week, depending on what happens with health care. Um, I think this is in Arkansas's interest, since Taiwan is such an important trading partner, and it's in everyone's interest in the United States that Taiwan remain uh, free of Chinese uh, dominance and that we maintain our commitments that we've had for 38 years now to an uh, independent and autonomous Taiwan free of mainland China uh, aggression and influence. Senator Tom Cotton on News Radio 102.9 KRN. Uh, Senator, if you would, I want you to go on record for me. How fast can you run a mile? <laughs> um, do you want me to go to my in my peak days? Uh, <laughs> oh, no, you know, I was, I want to, I, the past doesn't count. Yeah, my, pa- my past glories. Um, no, I mean, it, I think I ran that three-mile uh, race a couple months ago, Kevin, and I don't know, maybe a uh, 6.30 pace or so. I, I should be able to do a little bit better than that. That's a pretty steep decline from my Army days. But then again, you know, I've got a, you know, two kids I've got to look after now. So a lot, a lot of the time I used to spend early in the morning out running, I'm spending early in the morning with diapers and bottles. Yeah, yeah, I remember those days too. <laughs> yeah, 6.30 mile, you have low life insurance weights. Uh, <laughs> Senator Tom Cotton, thanks so much. Thanks, Kevin. Have, have a good, good day. day. 640 or 747, News Radio 102.9 KRN. <laughs>